Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here I am going to start a new lesson, reading and making maps from the 6th class social studies textbook. In this lesson we will learn what is a map, what are its uses and what are the kinds of different kinds of maps, what are directions and what are symbols. Now first of all, let us see about maps. Map tell us several things such as various places, how the land looks, what the weather is like, what trees grow, how people live in, the part, in their particular areas and also it shows the location of different places. Now, look at this image. This is a world map. This map consisting of different countries and continents which is drawn on the surface. Now, let us discuss about the types of maps. Here we can divide maps into three kinds. The first one is physical map. Next one, political map. And the third one, thematic map. Now, let us discuss about the physical map. This is the picture, this is the image of physical map of India. This physical map describes us about mountains, mountain regions, plateaus, plains, rivers, oceans, lakes, etc. Means nothing but the relief features. And the next political map, it shows the countries, states, cities, etc. Now let us discuss about the thematic map. Thematic map, it gives special information about rainfall, crops, or population of the different places. So these are the three kinds of maps. Now let us learn about the district political map. You can see several maps such as map of India, map of Telangana and so on. Today we learn about the district political map. If you look at this picture, if you look at this image, this is the district map of Telangana. Now let us see a few more district maps. It is a district map of Adilabad and it is a Hyderabad. This is a district map of Ayadadri and it is the district map of Rangaridi. So, a district political map shows all the mandals, towns, villages in a district. And also it helps us to see where places are and how they are divided. Now, let us discuss about the sketch map. Sketch maps are simple freehand drawings of a place. It is not very accurate, but it shows only the main features of the place or area. It is a quick drawing that shows important places or directions. Now, let us discuss about the directions on a map. Directions, direction is re always relative to something. It helps, direction on a map helps us to find the location of a place. There are four main directions. They are north, east, west, south. Here I gave a small trick to remember clockwise order. Never eat soggy weapons. North, east, south, west.
if you are starting facing east all the things to your uh, right are towards the south all the things to your left are towards north all the things behind you are west now let us know about the scale or distance on a map We use a scale to show actual distance on the ground by reducing it on a map. Maps always mention the scale they use and we can find out the actual distance between places in the scale. The scale is a ratio of a distance between two points or places on the map to the actual distance on the ground. Now let us see about the statement scale. Here, the scale is stated in a word such as 1 cm is equal to 1 km uh, in a simple statement. For example, if we measure 1 cm on the uh, distance between two places, the map, the real distance on the ground is 10 km. That means that is 1 cm is equal to 10 km. Let us see about the symbols. Maps are too small, so we always show things on a map with the help of the symbols. Each symbol represents different uh, area or a place. If you look at this image, here in this index we can see uh, different kinds of symbols such as tree, tank, kacha road, pakka road, masjid, temple, church and so on. So there are common symbols which are shown on any map. Uh, the map makers prepares the symbols to appropriate to their needs. These symbols which common are called as conventional symbols. Using these symbols we can draw any picture. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you have enjoyed learning about maps. See you in the next class.